since my comedy career has not really taken off, I decided to run again for uh, leader of the um, Assembly Republicans. Even after falling as deep into the minority as they have since the 1970s, the Republicans returned leader John Bramnick and his team. And from the tone of today's press conference, the GOP is planning to stay on message, regardless of how flat it may have fallen on Election Day. What is your plan? What is your plan? What's your plan? I mean, are you kidding me? I mean, you just can't make a statement and not back it up. Republicans say the Democrats, flush from a pack-fueled victory, are now on the clock. They say the majority party just can't keep blaming Chris Christie. They want to talk about everything except their policy proposals. Where is the governor today? Is he in Iowa? Is he in New Hampshire? Look, he, they've got... Okay, they've got... Uh, good, good. All kidding aside, there are pressing issues facing this legislature, and some on the Democratic side say they plan to take advantage of the lame duck session to get some work done on them, including funding the soon-to-be-broke Transportation Trust Fund. We're going to try and work on a plan with this leadership, trying to work with the Senate and seeing if the governor's office is willing to do something. Obviously, you all know that he has other aspirations at this point in time. Let's see how receptive he is. He has kept the door open. We're going to try and, and bring him to task on that. Uh, it, it, just, Speaker, it should yeah. be noted that we exchanged proposals oh, with yeah. the governor's office on yeah. transportation trust yeah. fund yeah. and tried to get it done yeah. and both parties recognized that right. there was a yeah. component to the gasoline tax right. and we presented proposals that also talked right. about estate and inheritance tax yeah. but this is an example where the re, you know the republicans have to yeah. people that drive on roads aren't re republican or democrat right. there are families that there are families right. everybody's family yeah. the republicans say an increase in the gas tax has always been on the table even from the governor providing there's some cuts to the inheritance and estate taxes. But the 800-pound gorilla in the room is Chris Christie and his presidential ambition. And given the governor's current rebound, that hope appears to be fading. Democrats say they're going to need some profiles and courage from the GOP in order to override the governor's anticipated veto of any bill that smells like it has a tax increase in it. The reality is they have to look themselves in the mirror and ask themselves, what is important to my district, my constituents, and my state? And I believe you're going to watch them do what's right. So the new party leaders look a lot like the old party leaders. And the issues today sound a lot like the issues from yesterday. Both sides say they want to work together, but it's hard to see, given the rhetoric today, how that's going to happen. In the Statehouse, I'm David Cruz, NJTV News.